jump straight into our agenda this evening is somewhat lengthy. Uh, we have three Lowndes County cases that will start us off. Jason, I know that uh, REZ 2016-45, there is something on that. Would you like to update everybody on that? Yes, sir. That was a case for Mr. Calvin Demps for property off Dean, Smith, Golden, and DJ Streets. It's uh, Western Valdosta near James Road. Uh, staff is continuing to work with that applicant on his case. We anticipate it being brought up at a future date, most likely next month. But because we felt like it was not ready to proceed and we needed some more communication with them, then we have taken it off the agenda until we feel like we have that solid stance to uh, bring to you. Okay, so you have actually just held that out for next month. That's, That's right. right. It, it has not been withdrawn. We just held it out to make sure we had the request formalized for the applicant, and it is not formalized yet. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll, just, we'll proceed to proceed to the next item, and that is REZ 2016-16 Livingston Properties. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ultimately, the request here is to change the various subject properties or portions of subject properties to residential, suburban residential R10. It's right around six acres, and ultimately the motivation here is to try to develop a small uh, residential subdivision in this area. With that, staff looked at this request, ultimately found it overall consistent with the plan and recommended for approval. I will tell you, I know there were various questions at the work session last week to follow up on. I did have a chance to meet with the engineer and go through the various scenarios about the development. All the questions seemed to really point at what would the proposed development look like, how many lots would front on Bemis Knights Academy, how many lots would front on an interior street like Merriman. Um, I can tell you the applicant developer is here if you have questions for them. Otherwise, the engineer said he would allow for an alternative um, layout that would uh, not connect to Bemis Knights as a requirement. You can see maybe three or four lots, possibly even five, being developed off of a new cul-de-sac on Merriman. Uh, and he would allow for a small portion of the development to front off the Bemis Knights Academy. He did not think that either one of those required a condition, but of course the commission has the authority to recommend that as such. Um, and I did want to remind you that off of Merriman, there's 20 lots currently fronting Merriman, so the maximum allowed off an extended cul-de-sac would be four to five lots to the north. So I, I wanted to arm you with those, but I did have a chance to follow up him and kind of run through those various scenarios about is the condition required, would you recommend one, and what does that leave to the staff? Any questions for Jason on this commission? I think he would, my sense from him was he would be in favor of the full connection or an alternative connection where they just strictly extend Merriman. I wanted to know from him, you know, are you in favor as much to require a condition his response was no. Like to make that the only viable alternative to continue Merriman through to be this night and he did not want to go that far. He wanted to leave that open to the applicant still. So I think he was open to both options and didn't want to restrict one or the other to be the sole, sole one. Any other questions for staff on this, commissioners? Yes, I have one. Did, just, just for clarification, did I hear you say if the was turned into a cul-de-sac that the max would only be four to five on extension? Yes. And, and then the rest of them would have to be facing Bemis Mice Academy? Yes. But if, but if it went straight through, you could have a section of about five or six to the left-hand side and something to the right-hand side with just a few lots facing Bemis Knights? Yes, sir. And I, in my opinion, I don't think the applicant has decided yet what's their best configuration. Um, so I, I think that yes, both of those have been looked at, but you're right, it will be limited on the new cul-de-sac because the engineer would only allow for, I don't remember, sir, if it's 24 or 25 lots, if you give me that, I can find out. But you can only have 24 or 25 lots on a cul-de-sac before you trigger a second point of ingress egress. So that's what the discriminator is on that particular road. Is if you choose to end it, you can only have so many lots on it. I think our next my next question would be to the developer of the home of the landowner. Sure. Yes. So any other questions for staff commissioners on this request? There being no question at this time, I will call anyone in audience wishing to speak in favor of this request to come forward at this time. Anyone in the audience wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. If 
you will, sir, just state your name and address for the record. Thank you. What is Nathan Livingston? Mr. Bell. What is Go ahead. What we want to do is carry this. Can you get your address, sir? Uh, 1357 Deerville Highway, Lakeland, Georgia. Thank you, Nate. We want to extend this road approximately 70 feet. Put a cold sac there. At the present time, we're at a dead end road. We want to make a place where a fire truck can turn around, everybody get in and out of this instead of having to back out like they're doing now if they go in there. We want to add 70 feet to the road. Put a cul de sac here. We want to have uh, six lots on this cul de sac. And we want to come with 10 front and Venus Nazi cabin. So, so, Mr. Lipson, can I just follow up back with Jason? Mm -hmm. You said it's four to five max, Jason. Mm -hmm. so I just want to follow up with Mr. Livingston there, make sure that we're on the same page with the six versus the four or five. Yes, sir, that's correct. The, the cold sack I'm going to find that rule right now is limited to a maximum of 24 or 25 blocks before you require that extra point of ingress. So, so that would, I mean, at this point, that takes in the existing road? Yes, Marion Court, yes, sir. Yeah, it would be, the maximum number of blocks would be 24 blocks. So if Merriman has 20, and Mr. Livingston, we, if he does that scenario, he'd be limited to, to 24 lots, which means he could add four on the cold side. And I agree that the improvement at the end, it is a flat stub out. There's no real turnaround to that. So that would be an improvement to the area, but it appears that he'd be limited to 24 <coughs> lots on Mary. Any questions for our presenter, Commissioner? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said you wanted to put six lots there. Well, for the uh, staff, they could only put four in there because of the total of our lots on there. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. if I can ask this or not, but why do you not want to connect with, with uh, Bemis and Heights? Mr. Hall, cost of infrastructure. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's, what, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, us even extending Merriman is, is the infrastructure we got to do there is really up in the air. You know, we're not going. We, we can't go in there and spend that kind of money and put, you know, four lots there. Yeah. Mean, yeah. You know. Well, it's going to be. So, in so, and that being and Nathan, on that, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. So, and so, for county regulations, four is the max you can put there. So, does, does that change your thought pattern anyway going forward? You know, to some degree, yes. We, we can't, you know, if, if it's not going to really and truly work out money-wise, you know, it can't be done on our part. Yeah. And, and Jason, per, mm -hmm. per the drawing here, that's like on the on the left-hand side, that's what, 422 feet? You mean based on the survey? Yes, sir. I think that's what I'm seeing here. Or 472, I'm sorry. Okay. So if you, are you looking at like 80-foot width of the lots? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I mean, he's looking at almost six lots there on a straight shot, which would be no problem. And then probably could capture someone on the other side. I'm just trying to help you on your decision also. Uh, Richard, can I have a moment and ask you a question? I think Jason looked at something. I think uh, Commissioner Hall actually asked a question for me. I was just, in my opinion, extending um, the road, the local road, the all the way to Venus night, it just gives you a better connectivity. And like you are saying right now, you have to back out of that road, fire truck and so forth. So if you actually provide a connection all the way back to Venus, there's no need for backing out. And you don't, people just continue. You have, you have a much better traffic flow that way. You can also, so I highly recommend or encourage, but I understand if cost is an issue, that's clearly that's something for you to consider. Um, to me, I'm always an advocate of connecting this the grid much better. Yes, um, so I don't think I have anything else to add to that. I was, I was leaning towards making that as a condition to have that road actually connect. A through, a through passage. Correct. And create a better situation in there. 
I just asked my last question on y'all's TRC meeting. Was there any discussion about, I know Nathan said something about making sure a nice wide uh, turnaround is for the fire, fire trucks. Was there any concern about that going forward, about having to go back through the existing subdivision in case of a fire, or what, what was their concern? Did they have a concern? No, sir. Only a, I think the only concern was making sure you don't overload that cold stack with too many lots. And now that we confirm that was 24, and that may be news to Mr. Nathan. I'm not sure what conversations he had with the engineer. But I think that that will be the concern. Ultimately, I, I think I can speak on their behalf and say that that cold stack will be an improvement, you know, as opposed to have them, them going there like a hammerhead back into someone's driveway just to turn around. Okay, that's all. Any other questions from commissioners for Mr. Livingston? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you all. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of this request? There being none, is anyone here tonight wishing to speak against this request? Anyone here tonight wishing to speak against this request? Please come forward at this time. There being none, we will close this part. Commissioners, do we need any discussion amongst ourselves on this request? <coughs> There being no need of discussion at this time, I will take a motion on this request. I make a motion. Commissioner Gladwell? I make a motion to recommend approval of the conditions of my local road. Merriman? Merriman, sorry. Extend to be a sign. That should be what? So you, you, you just want you want a, a fruit drive? Mm -hmm. Carmela, did you get that her motion with the con one condition? Commissioner, do you have any discussion on the motion as presented, commissioners? So the motion presented is for approval or recommended for approval with one condition of making the road a through road from Merriman to Beamers Knox County. Do we have a second on that request? I'll second. We have a. A motion from Commissioner Glad, a second from Commissioner Hall. <coughs> All in favor of the request signify by raising your right hand. Ms. Carmella, that passed 5 0 on that request. Thank you, Commissioner. Jason? 